Before we start the video, I'm proud to announce that the Enigma is now available on Anchor and Spotify. And with that, I hope you enjoy the video. Nightmares, a product of human psychology which temporarily causes the individual to be sleep deprived for a short period of time. The reason behind this is because of how vivid the nightmare was, making the person question whether or not it was all just a dream. Fortunately, nightmares only happen during our sleep, but what if it comes to life? What if the events that occur in our life is much, much worse than our nightmares? On April 26, 1982, in South Korea, a mass murder occurred which consumed the life of 56 people. The incident was considered to be amongst one of the deadliest killing sprees in known history. What makes the tragic event even worse is the fact that the killing spree was committed by a local policeman. Today, we will look into the terrifying case of Wu Bum Kun's massacre. We read, listen, recount stories that fascinate us. It's the stories that we can relate to the most are the ones that become a part of who we are. It excites us knowing that living in the ordinary can also be extraordinary. From the tales and legends that are forgotten and the stories that keep us up at night, I bring you Stories from the Dark and I'm your host, The Enigma. Wu Bum Kun was born on February 24, 1955. He had served the South Korean Marines until 1978. Not much is known about the background of the killer, but he lived at the village of Torongni on December 1981. This was the time when he was appointed to be a policeman by the National Police in Busan. The killing is thought to be caused by an argument between Wu and his girlfriend, Chun Mal Sun. According to Chun, Wu had an inferiority complex as he was bothered by the comments made by the people of the village. At that time, living with the opposite sex under one roof is frowned upon and this was exactly what Chun and Wu were doing. On the afternoon of April 26, 1982, Chun woke Wu by swatting a fly on his chest which infuriated him. He left the house immediately and went to the police station. Reports said that he was drinking heavily whilst he was on duty. Then at 7.30pm, he returned home where he punched and kicked Chun. He was in a state of rampage as he smashed everything on his way. He then left home and went to the reservist's armory where he armed himself for his murders. He managed to go unnoticed by the other officers because they were in a meeting at that time. Other reports said he managed to intimidate the guard and that's how he managed to gain access. In his possession were two M2 carbines, 144 to 180 rounds of ammunition and seven hand grenades. Wu was now armed to commit one of the worst killing spree ever known in history. At around 9.30 p.m., Wu began his killing spree. He shot his first victim who was a passerby at a marketplace in the village of Torongni. He then threw a grenade which killed a total of six people. Next, he entered the local post office in the nearby village of Kungryu, where he killed three phone operators. 
he cut off the telephone lines so that no one would be able to call for an emergency. After that, he went from one village to another, killing as many people as he could. What's terrifying was how people trusted him as a police officer. This is due to the uniform he was still wearing when he went on the rampage. With this, he was able to kill as many people as he could before his targets were able to run away. At 10.30 p.m., he had 18-year-old Kim Joo Dong as a hostage. He told Kim to buy him a drink at a nearby store. Once Wu received his drink, he immediately killed Kim and went to the store. The owner of the store was only shot in the leg, where he managed to escape. However, all his family were killed. At this point, Wu has killed a total of 18 people. He then proceeded to move to the next village which was at Pyeongchon Ni. He forced himself into a house whilst the family was asleep. He shot them which alarmed the neighbor of the house. The neighbor went out to see what was happening. He saw Wu coming towards him. Not knowing that the commotion was done by Wu, the owner asked him what had happened. Wu lied to the owner saying that there was a North Korean agent that was spotted around the area. Thinking Wu was tired, the owner of the house invited him for dinner. At first, the dinner went normally, but it soon turned into a nightmare when one of the house members jokingly asked if the gun was fake. Wu shot the man and started shooting the rest of the people in the house. He killed a total of 12 people in the house and another 8 in the streets. At this point, Wu has murdered a total of 32 people. The police were already alerted about the commotion earlier on. However, they only arrive until they have gathered 37 officers which took them an hour. The National Police Headquarters in Seoul was only alerted about the incident at 1.40 in the morning, which gave Wu plenty of time to do his murders. At that time, Wu sought shelter at a farmhouse about 4 kilometers away from the police station in Kungryu. The farmhouse was owned by Su In Su, which Wu told him that he was being chased after by a communist infiltrator. Then, Wu told Su that he and his family have to gather at the main room of the house so that Wu would be able to protect them. Once the family had gathered as told, Wu took them as hostage. Two hours later, the police came and surrounded the farmhouse. Su and his family was hopeful, thinking that they were now safe. But they were wrong. Wu pulled the pin of two of his grenades, killing the family and Wu himself. Su survived the explosion. However, he was severely injured. The police retrieved four rounds of ammunition and one hand grenade from the farmhouse. Wu killed a total of 55 people, including himself, whilst 36 others were wounded. One of the injured was a boy who got shot. He died shortly after he was committed in the hospital, which means Wu killed a total of 56 people in a single event. The provincial chief of police suspended his position whilst four other officers were arrested due to the negligence of their duty. If you like this video, make sure to hit like and share it with your friends. Hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell. I try my best to post new videos every weekend. Do let me know what topics you would like me to cover in the comment section below. If you have any horror stories you would like to share with me, email us at theenigma at gmail.com. Thank you for watching.